We love our moms, but when it comes to being fun to be with, our aunts somehow seem to have an edge. Auntie Sheila has gained fame and notoriety for her outspoken and very funny take on life, but it's a bit difficult to pin her down for an interview. So I contacted her favorite nephew, Thurshan Nyker. Thurshan Nyker is comfortable projecting a variety of personas. None of them, however, is quite as flamboyant as his loquacious, tell it like it is, Auntie Sheila, who has already amassed a small army of local fans. We'll meet Auntie Sheila a little later. But first, let's get to know the man who brought her to the stage. In addition to studying the human mind and behavior, Thurshan also knows how to expertly enhance the face. Goddess. That's what I say. I'll take God in. <laughs> his students know him as a psychology lecturer, his brides know him as a magical makeup artist, and he also has an onstage persona. But who is Thurshan? Thurshan is basically a very, very simple guy. You know, I just love living a very, very simple life, but a happy life. And I always say this, that I believe that I've been divinely favoured. Divinely favoured, I love that. In my life, I choose to surround myself with um, people, individuals that only radiate an abundance of love in my life. Who are some of the important people in your formative years? My granny was, was very vocal in, in saying to me, Thurshan, you've got to be truthful. But also remember, Thurshan, if you want to be heard, you've got to be loud, you've got to be vocal, because nobody's going to listen to you if you keep quiet. You're also a makeup artist. How did that come about? Growing up, I would see makeup artists do my face and then I'd say, uh, hold on, but why are you doing his face so well and mine doesn't look good? So I got into this habit of uh, trying to do my own face, professional stage makeup. And then when it came to my sister's wedding, I was looking desperately for a makeup artist that will give her the look that I felt was perfect. And we just never found it. So she said, Thurshan, now here's your chance. Do my makeup. And I did my, the first bride I ever did was my sister. What got you interested in psychology? When I matriculated, I had started paying much interest to people and the manner in which they behave. And why do certain people behave in this manner? Why do some people get angry at certain points and some are calm in certain situations? So it was purely because the love and interest in people and understanding characters. How has psychology affected your other interests? It's a natural progression. So in terms of psychology, it's about understanding the mind, understanding how people think and behave. That translates very nicely into my acting because when I choose a character, again, it's understanding the character, how that person thinks, how they relate, what makes a person happy, what makes a person sad. Your onstage persona is Auntie Sheila and I'm not gonna lie, I cannot wait to meet her. Shall we sit and chat more? The world caught its first glimpse of Auntie Sheila in 2011. Hello, darlings. Sheila here. Her debut was a great success and she's been capturing hearts and minds ever since. Thurshan, how did you come up with Auntie Sheila? So, much of Auntie Sheila is inspired by my grandmother. My grandmother was a lady who was very vocal. She never minced her words. She was a tell it like it is and uh, no inhibitions when she wanted to deliver a statement. And so you see much of that in Auntie Sheila. I don't know where they go find that place, but that's the place, you know what? The reception will be bad. How is Auntie Sheila similar to you or different to you? Auntie Sheila is a very extroverted, loud, flamboyant, uh, some might call her ostentatious at times. But I, Thurshan, myself, I'm a very shy, introverted person. This takes me back to when I was in school. I was faced with many people bullying me because I was different. I wasn't your standard guy running around a soccer field. I was a very quiet child. I loved the arts. I loved to dress. And immediately that would be, oh, he's acting like a girl. And that bullying really closed me off. I became a very introverted person. And in Auntie Sheila, I'm able to verbalize those pent up emotions and be that strong person. And I often say, I really wish I had the confidence that she has because she's, a, she's such a beautiful character. She's truthful, she's confident, and she's always authentic, never sugarcoating anything that she says. Is Auntie Sheila purely for entertainment purpose or does she come with a message? Auntie Sheila comes with an important message. What are some of the topics she broaches? She's very, very passionate about education because there's a great sense of power 
uh, in education. She talks about your everyday Indian things, things that we are faced with. My psychology lecturer once said to me, and this sticks with me, people will only laugh at things they identify with. Because if they don't identify with it, it's going to shock them. Act like a lady, think like a man. And you, you know what they said in that book, men like things that sparkle. As a man playing a woman, what have been some of the challenges and highlights of becoming Auntie Sheila? People think that you know, Auntie Sheila just appears. But there's hours of preparation that goes into, uh, you know, becoming Auntie Sheila. Can we meet her? Absolutely, she's excited to meet you guys. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Remember the sari over here, darling? Hmm? First video I did this one, yeah? Hmm? This multicolored sari I did. Oh, you and all the roti people wanted to kill me after this sari. <clears throat> when I picked on the plot and your tasty fish curry, man. Oh, you. Hey, but you know, darling, I will say this. Uh, oh, one thing I like my cooking, yeah? Oh, you, Kadavle, you know, my, I've got my ayahs here. And, oh, you, anything I cook, darling, you know, I always say, oh, you know, when I cook, darling, you can lick your fingers. Rumbo, akada, veve, then akada, so tasty, this, and, darling. Oh, oh, darling. Oh, darling. You're getting this, you're getting this. <laughs> Look at Auntie Sheila. Oh, you, my darling. Oh, you, my mother. My mother must stand salt for you, darling. My <laughs> mother. Who is Auntie Sheila? I always say if you want to research the word struggle, you look up Sheila in the dictionary. You know, darling, I've been through thick and thin. Yeah? People have tried to break me down, but me, darling, I'm a believer in myself. Oh, you know, what may come, what may go, darling. I did not believe that you are a grandmother. Look how young you are. Uncle, uncle keeps me young. Oh, uncle is the joy in my life, darling. You know, they say when you have the time to find that one person that you can share that time and space with someone as he talks, Talks, you talk as his heart beats, your heart beats. When you can find that match, darling, you are forever young. When did you make your debut and what was the experience like? Debut, darling. When I came on this earth, as soon as my mother saw me, oh, yeah, she said, Dawa, star is born. Sheila, what are some of your pastimes? Everyone knows I'm a singer. Oh, I love to sing. You know, every time I sing, any song I sing, all the children will come, darling, and that's what I'm very passionate about. What does the future hold for you? So many people are asking me to do a movie and you can only imagine how that movie will be like, darling. So uh, everyone must watch it for Auntie Sheila's movie, yeah. Auntie Sheila, thank you so much for such a colorful and passionate day. Oh, you thank you so much, darling. Amada, you like my daughter, man. I must turn salt for you. And remember, darling, I want you to come here to my house. Hey, I'm inviting you. You can't not come to my house. I want you to eat food. I must give my hand food to you, my darling. Okay, darling. I am holding you to that and I can't cannot wait for next time. Oh, mother, vanakam, darling. Oh, mere sonare, 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 Mene ke jaan juda mat honare, Mene tujhe saradir me jana, Hua ki sura bafa mat honare, Oh, mere sonare, sonare, So I...